Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Yvonne Wheaton. I'll be your moderator today. I want to thank you all for attending our webinar today on eBusiness Server, Product Enhancements, World Class Support, and FIPS Compliance. We're excited to share information on how you can contact our world class customer support and what types of support are available, as well as our enhancements to SDS eBusiness Server, both distributed and mainframe, and our FIPS compliance effort. This is an example of what your webcast dashboard should look like. You'll find any handouts for the presentation on your dashboard under the Handouts tab. You can access and download these at any time during the webcast. We'll be providing a Q&A session today after the presentation. If you have any questions at any time during the webinar, please send them to us in your question box. If you have any questions or comments after the webinar, you can always reach us at info at sdsusa.com or 1-800-443-6183. Also, when you leave the webcast, there'll be a brief survey that we hope you'll take a few minutes to answer. Okay, here's our agenda for today. Here at SDS, we value our customers. Dana Gerard will go over our customer service process so you'll know how to get the best support possible. We'll show you how you can get in touch with SDS when you have questions or if you'd like to submit an enhancement. I'll be providing an EBS and encryption overview. I'll be discussing encryption, decryption, compliance, and the eBusiness Server product. Following that, I'll be presenting our eBusiness Server updates and enhancements. This will include the latest enhancements and release information for version 9.0.1 for the distributed environment. And I'll cover the mainframe systems version 7.8.3 eBusiness Server release information and past most recent enhancements. Colin Vander Ross will show you a window into EBS. He'll be providing examples of distributed EBS console and the ZOS ISPF interface. So this will be an opportunity to see our new TSO ISPF screens. Tom Wheaton will be discussing our FIPS compliance project and SDS's continued dedication to EBS. Following Tom, we'll have that Q&A period, so send us those questions. Okay, I'd like to introduce you to our SDS speakers today. Dana Gerard, an SDS support engineer, has been with SDS for 17 years working in technical support and on the internal IT infrastructure. He's been providing support of the eBusiness server on distributed platforms since day one of the SDS acquisition of EBS. I'm Yvonne Wheaton. I'm in the marketing department at SDS. I have over 30 years in the IT business, both in system shops and enterprise vendor environments. And Colin Vander Ross is a senior systems engineer here at SDS. Colin has been in IT for over 30 years. He's been at SDS for over nine of those years. Colin's focus is on network software solutions and security solutions. Tom Wheaton has over 40 years experience in IT. 30 of those years have been in mainframe software development at various software companies, including Landmark Systems and IBM. Tom's background includes software architect, developer, and designer. All right, give me just a few minutes of your time to tell you about SDS. SDS, or Software Diversified Services, has been providing mainframe solutions to the market for over 35 years. Our headquarters are located in Minneapolis, Minnesota. SDS now supports over 20 ZOS, MVS, VSE, and VM mainframe systems products, our flagship products are dedicated to network management, security solutions, and performance solutions. SDS is a leading provider of enterprise infrastructure software for multiple platforms. With a 35-year history of delivering award-winning support and customer-centric IT infrastructure solutions, we have over 1,000 licensed customers worldwide, including Global 500 companies. Over the years, we've developed more product solutions for the distributed environment, We've added to our mainframe product line and we've partnered with subject matter experts for effective software solutions. Our development staff is continually providing updates and enhancements to our products, keeping SDS abreast of market changes and trends. 
SDS is focused on bringing software solution tools to the marketplace that provide considerable cost savings to you or your enterprise while still using elegant and state-of-the-art functionality. We are invested in eBusiness Server, as our track record shows. Software diversified services provided day one support of all sales, technical support, maintenance, and development responsibilities for eBusiness Server. STS's commitment means this enterprise scale encryption server will remain a trusted data security tool for years to come. You can stay connected with us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and our blog for tips, ideas, and white papers. Okay, remember we'll have that Q&A session at the end. So if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Let's get started. It's my pleasure to hand this webinar over to Dana Gerard. Dana? Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'd like to share with you our SDS customer support information. Customer satisfaction is our first consideration at Software Diversified Services. We are proud of our award-winning support and customer-centric IT infrastructure solutions. We understand that if you experience difficulty, you need our response quickly and effectively. To get help with eBusiness Server, you can phone us, email us, or submit a support request online. We are on call 24-7 and can provide email, web, and phone support with remote desktop sharing. We have an automated issue submission tool at issues.sdsusa.com that you can use to, to open support tickets or to send us enhancement requests. For fastest response outside regular business hours, always phone rather than using email or the website. Regular business hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time. A current eBusiness support contract allows you access to our technical support staff as well as access to product updates and upgrades. Alerts and remediation advice regarding new security threats as they become known. Support account managers provide a single point of contact. We do not limit the number of call-ins to technical support. You are not a number to us. Technicians who work closely with our product developers will address your problem as quickly and thoroughly as we possibly can. In today's environment, there seems to be an endless amount of options, a variety of operating system software and subsystems. Here are some important pieces of information that you want to have available when you contact us. What is the version number of eBusiness Server you are running? You can provide the full output of the following command, EBS space dash dash version space dash dash info space debug. What is the version release of the platform you are using? ZOS, AIX, Linux, Windows, etc. Error messages or additional information. The full output including error messages that you are getting on a failure. If you are having a problem with a specific key, send us a copy of that public key. Your eBusiness server grant number or STS customer account number can help us quickly validate your account. SDS has shown that we consider support is paramount and that we provide quick response to our clients when issues come into our award-winning technical team. This concludes my portion of this webcast. I hope you stay up to date with our news releases and product information by connecting to SDS via LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and our blog. Thank you, Dana. I'm Yvonne Wheaton, and before we go into the eBusiness Server Enhancement Updates, I'd like to go over encryption and key technology along with some hash algorithm options. So here's kind of an overview. SDS eBusiness Server is the gold standard in PGP encryption technology for securing sensitive corporate data at rest in transit or being accessed internally or externally by business partners. It can easily share data with business partners regardless of the partner's data security preference or computing platform. OpenPGP solutions are built on the widely trusted OpenPGP standard RFC 4880. OpenPGP encryption has undergone more than a decade of intense review by the world's best cryptographers, enabling compliance with key regulations and backed by the award-winning SDS support team. E-Business Server was initially developed for commercial use by cryptography pioneer Phil Zimmerman and features the industry's most advanced algorithms and key management to encrypt and decrypt data. SDS E-Business Server software is easy to install and use with straightforward APIs to integrate security with applications and processes. It's available on multiple platforms including ZOS, USS, Linux, Windows, AIX, HPUX, and Solaris. 
eBusiness Server secures and protects sensitive customer and business data end-to-end, -end, in storage, in transit, and during access. You need to make sure your data is secure end-to-end. -end. Let's cover some of these privacy and security compliance measures that EBS ensures. HIPAA requires the establishment of national standards for electronic healthcare transactions and national identifiers for providers, health insurance plans, and employers. As a result of SOX, top management must individually certify the accuracy of financial information. The Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS, is a proprietary information security standard for organizations that handle branded credit cards from major credit card schemes. Corporate security policy may require security of company information. Your trade partners as well may require that you adhere to these regulations and encrypt your data. This chart details a few areas of concern in today's business services. Services you and I use every day. Whether online, filling out our health form for our next appointment, or buying a present to be shipped to our families, financial institutions by law require data at rest and in transit is secure inside and outside of the company. HIPAA states that personal information must be kept secure by healthcare companies. Data must have compliance, data encryption, and decryption. Data loss protection is key. Retail data, per the PCI, must be protected. In April of 2014, the Heartbleed virus affected open SSL files and was revealed to have impacted 17% of the world's secure servers. You're probably familiar with some of the latest data breaches. It seems like daily we hear about data breaches. The most recent breaches have included banks, credit card companies, fast food companies, and healthcare providers. You need to ensure that all sensitive data is encrypted, not only during transfer, but also in storage within the enterprise network and therefore safe from misuse even if it's stolen or if a device is misplaced. Big data is a huge topic nowadays. Private data, which is data stored in-house as well as public data, Data that can be transmitted or shared inside or outside brick and mortar business walls needs to be secure. The National Institute of Standards and Technology defines cybersecurity as the process of protecting information by preventing, detecting, and responding to attacks. And as we're finding out, more of these attacks are discovered years later, putting more of the emphasis nowadays on data protection. EBS preserves your IT investment, allowing strong encryption on one platform, decryption on another, with broad platform support. Windows, AIX, HPUX, Linux, Solaris, and IBM ZOS. It's a highly trusted key management system. It conserves bandwidth and increases transfer speed with built-in compression. It automates and consistently administers security processing for compliance with major regulations, encryption, compression, digital signing, data integrity, and authentication. It's commercially supported gold standard in PGP encryption technology and is backed by our customer-centric support at SDS. EBS is easy to install and use, including APIs, for easy integration with application and processes. EBS is an automated, comprehensive security product to protect and encrypt a wide variety of data in transit and at rest without user interaction, including emails, file transfers, archives, and desktops. APIs and mainframe scripting that allows encryption to be integrated with applications and batch processes. It features a simple command structure or optional native application program interfaces or APIs, including C, C++, COM, REX, and Java to seamlessly integrate into existing applications and encryption processes and enable new ones. Automatic ASCII to EBCDIC and EBCDIC to ASCII character set conversions for easy integration of IBM, Unix, and Windows. Efficient secure communications, including large files. EBS supports large files exceeding 4 GB with a built-in compression of up to 50 to 80% based on ZLib algorithms. Improving security by eliminating reoccurring patterns in the data before it's encrypted. eBusiness Server is based on a widely accepted and highly trusted public key encryption system. You may accumulate many keys in the course of using eBusiness Server. Over time, you may want to view, update, and remove the keys on the key ring. All operations on your key ring actually apply to both key rings at once. Private key ring and the public key ring. 
Digital signatures provide authentication and data integrity. Non-repudiation means it prevents the sender from claiming that he or she did not actually send the information. EBS supports the X509 certificate. An X509 is a very common certificate format. Certification requires someone to validate that you are who you say you are. To obtain a 509 certificate, you must ask a certification authority to issue you one. An EBS provides complete cross-platform support. The multi-platform encryption encrypts data end-to-end -end among a wide range of environments. eBusiness Server automates data production by incorporating the industry's strongest encryption algorithms. Conventional symmetric encryption is where one key is used for encryption and decryption. Asymmetric was when a pair of keys, a public and a private key, is used for encryption and decryption. The hash algorithm preference is used for signing and encrypt and sign operations. Hash functions keep track of cryptographic hash value changes. EBS features include automatic encryption of email, unified browser-based controls for managing multiple key and certification servers, and data compression, all this with a simple setup, installation, and maintenance. eBusiness Server uses a cryptographically strong hash function. Hash functions generate a message digest that becomes a part of the digital signature. As long as a secure hash function is used, the slightest change to a signed document will cause the digital signature to fail. You can specify which hash algorithms eBusiness Server should use. Hash algorithms include MD5, SHA-1, SHA-2, and RIPE-MD160. EBS combines some of the best features of both conventional and public key cryptography. It's a hybrid crypto system. First, it is compressed, which reduces patterns in plain text and saves space and transmit time. But more importantly, it strengthens cryptographic security. It then creates a one-time only secret random session key. The data is encrypted, then the session key is encrypted to the recipient's public key. Then the public key, encrypted session key, is transmitted along with the cipher text to the recipient. You can configure eBusiness Server to perform in a specific way. For example, you can specify what encryption and hash algorithms eBusiness Server should use, tell eBusiness Server to add a specific comment to everything you encrypt, always encrypt a copy of your data to your own key as well as your recipients, set the level of skepticism eBusiness Server should use in determining whether other keys are valid, and so on. Well, decryption works in reverse. The recipient uses their private key to recover the session key, which EBS then uses to decrypt the conventional encrypted cipher text. eBusiness Server is based on a widely accepted and highly trusted public key encryption system in which two complementary keys, called a key pair, are used to maintain secure communications. Symmetric key encryption is an extremely simple form of encryption. Symmetric key encryption is where one key is used for encryption as well as decryption. Whereas asymmetric key encryption requires both a public key and a private key. Your public key is used during the encryption of the data. When you receive the data, you use your private key to decrypt the data. The primary benefit to the public key cryptography is that it allows people with no pre-existing security to exchange messages securely. eBusiness Server provides you with three key types, DHDSS, or Diffie-Hellman Elgamal, also called DHDSA, RSA version 3, we also refer to as RSA legacy keys, and RSA version 4. DHDSS generates two prompts to define encryption and signing keys separately. RSA provides a single prompt to define a single size for two keys, encryption and signing. RSA legacy keys provide a single prompt for a single key for both encryption and signing. You can specify which encryption algorithm eBusiness Server should use to encrypt the session key. 3DES or triple DES, AES-128, AES-192, AES-256, CAST-5, IDEA, 2FISH and Blowfish. 
Also, note that the RSA legacy keys will always use IDEA. Hopefully this has been helpful in showing you some encryption information. I'm going to go into the distributed platforms and the updates that we have there. So EBS has provided support uh, for our easy to use strong encryption and authentication services to your enterprise across a broad range of platforms and applications. For distributed, we support, uh, again, it's Linux, Red Hat, Linux, SUSE, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Server, Solaris version 9 and later, IBM AIX 5.1 and later, and HP UX 11 plus. We entered into a strategic partners, partnership for eBusiness Server in 2013. SDS was pleased to announce that as of October 1, 2013, the company took over support and development of McAfee's eBusiness Server suite of products. As part of the partnership agreement, SDS assumed full and ongoing responsibility for all current and future customer support functions. Day one support on October 1st was for version 8.6. We quickly followed with our 8.7 maintenance release for outstanding issues and our 8.8 .8 release including enhancements for ZLive decompression, SHA-2 support, DSA-1024 bit signing key, default updates along with maintenance and documentation updates. In 8.8.1 EBS, the compressed algo parameter in the PGP default.config file, it can alter the preferred compression algorithm. By default, ZLive will be followed by zip. Support was added for the ZLive decompress and inflate options. SHA-224 DSA support, we updated the user interface admin console to allow passing of the compressed algo option, and we provided maintenance updated, updates as needed. We do have help online as well in our products, which gets updated along with our manuals. In our business server version 9.0, we added the ZLive deflate capability. Deflate is used to compress data a section at a time and or compressed to other formats. A new installer for Windows, you don't have to uninstall first. It basically performs like an upgrade. It's more convenient, efficient, and less time consuming. We increased the number of concurrent threads to improve performance. We have 64-bit support for Windows and Linux. This 64-bit enhancement was requested by a lot of our existing eBusiness customers. This will allow customers to be able to install eBusiness Server on operating systems that exploit 64-bit technology like Windows 7 and up. We have a COM layer that supports major programming language, Visual Basic, C Sharp, Manage C, C++, and Unmanage C, C++ as well as our maintenance and documentation updates. Our GA version 9.0.1 has support to generate RSA version 4 with SHA-2 hashes. 64-bit implementation for the Java API, data compression by either the ZLib or ZIP algorithm, according to the preference specified in the recipient's encryption key, the EBS map program can analyze encrypted messages, signatures, certific and certificates to reveal their structure, size, algorithms, etc. Colin will show you this during his demo a little bit later, as well as our maintenance and documentation updates. Multi-vendor support for eBusiness Server also includes ZOS and ZOS USS 1.6 and later. Day 1 support on October 1st for ZOS was version 7.5. We quickly provided necessary support for API languages C, C++, Java, and Rex. We included performance improvements along with a link pack area installation support. Our 7.6 release provided identification of software diversified services in the product renaming. We incorporated known McAfee fixes and consider this our base release for future enhancements. 7.6.2 through 7.6.4 were major maintenance releases along with the USS MVS early EBCDIC support. We updated the PGP reader version and implemented translation switch, Translate 71, to toggle between the old B135 and the new B160 translation. In EBS 7.7, .7, we added DSA support to allow signing keys greater than 10, 24 bits. We added ZLive support and SHA-5.1 
512 support, as well as new prompts and a new key type for DSS with selectable signature. In 771, we continued to add DSA support with 2048 and 3072 bit signing. We added ZLive decompression support and we increased the number of concurrent threads for increased performance. SHA support included SHA 224, 256, 384, and 512 hash functions. In EBS 7.8, ZLive deflate was added, increasing the support of ZLive functions. The deflate option is used to compress data a portion at a time and or to compress to other formats. An ISPF user interface was added for ease of use to add keys, edit, generate, and remove keys, and more options which Colin will show you in a minute. Data support was improved, making it more robust, dependable, and improving PDS partition dataset support, as well as, again, any maintenance and documentation updates. In EBS 7.8.1, it has support to generate RSA version 4 with SHA-2 hashes. In EBS 7.8.2, we have new parameter wipe passes temp file to control the number of passes on a temp file. And we provided support for the Blowfish cipher on ZOS. Our GA version 7.8.3, we added an option to fail encryption in the event that an explicit key does not exist. In the ISPF interface, we added the option to sign a file. Our EBS map program is available as an ISPF option as well as batch. Colin will be discussing the EBS map options later as well. Our support and further development of EBS Server by STS has the advantage of teaming with the company's other security tools. Along with eBusiness Server that provides a simple, easy to use infrastructure for PGP encryption throughout an enterprise, where we have shown that we are invested in success and future growth of EBS through our support, continued maintenance, and enhancement. We also have Smart for Seam. With Smart on your mainframes, your security people get a central, enterprise wide view of all the events they need to capture and all the security threats they need to recognize. Enterprise-wide monitoring of security events is critical, not only for tracking malicious activity, but also to meet compliance requirements. SMART can be an invaluable tool for SOX, PCI, and HIPAA compliance. Vital Signs for FTP automates enforcement of security standards throughout enterprises with low overhead security and automation for file transfer. SSH Corporation Collaboration Software, SSH Tectia, provides SSH encryption for data in transit throughout networks. We've recently teamed with SSH to bring you Universal Key Manager and Crypto Auditor. I'll now hand the presentation over to Colin so he can share with you the screens and information on EBS. Colin? Thank you, Yvonne, and good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for your time. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can use eBusiness Server and also show you some of the interfaces that come with the product. Just as a reminder, I will be talking about our current GA version of STS eBusiness Server and that would be 9.0.1 for the Linux, Unix and Windows platforms and for the folks that make use of the product on ZOS and also on USS that would be version 7. 8.3. So there are a number of interfaces or ways that you can access eBusiness Server. Some folks prefer the good old-fashioned command line interface. To make it simpler to call eBusiness Server commands from other languages and also to improve performance when commands are called repeatedly, a simple C language API for entering eBusiness Server commands is included in eBusiness Server. Our 64-bit implementation for Linux, Windows and the Java API brings modernization and greater security. eBusiness Server supports simple commands or optional native APIs including C, C++, COM, Rex and Java to enable encryption for all data communicated with partners from their backend systems. 
It imitates the command line allowing eBusiness Server commands to be called through the API. The central function in the API imitates the command line allowing eBusiness Server commands normally issued from the command line to be called through the API. There are four supporting functions, one for freeing allocated memory, the other translating returned error codes and also initializing and the cleaning up of the APIs are provided with the base of eBusiness Server. eBusiness Server, the API is supported on Windows, Unix platforms and on System Z and it also takes advantage of the new system Rex or SysRex as it's commonly referred to uh, the SysRex component for ZOS eBusiness Server functions. Let's talk about the eBusiness Server administration utility. The admin utility is an optional console that provides a graphical user interface for eBusiness Server. Specifically, its key management and configuration management features. The eBusiness Server administration utility consists of two components. So there's a service and a console. The service resides on the same computer as the eBusiness Server, but you can install the console on any Windows computer. This means that you can use the eBusiness Server ad admin utility to access and configure eBusiness Server remotely. Again, here is a list of our distributed platforms that you can run eBusiness Server and they include Linux, Windows, HP UX, Solaris and the AIX platform. So this is the eBusiness Administration Console. To invoke the admin utility you would go to the Windows Start menu, select the, uh, the Programs button, then the STS eBusiness Server and then the admin client. Here you can see there is a console tree on the left and with the main panel on the right hand side. The screen on the admin client shows the list of keys that have been generated. Here I've highlighted one of my keys and now you can see the properties for this key in the bottom portion of the screen. It'll tell me information like the key type and this particular one is a DSS key pair and the size of 1024 using the IDEA cipher. If you want additional information about a specific key, you can get additional information on the keys by selecting any one of the tabs on the configuration panel. You have selected the encryption decryption panel and you can get some values about the encryption and decryption process. Also you can see what compression method was used and here we can see the hash, hash algorithm chosen was SHA-512. Our ZOS platform also covers the current ZOS versions. Uh, we can go back as far as 1.6 and later. So there's a new feature that has been added to the ZOS component or uh, the, the product that runs on ZOS and that is a new ISPF interface and that comes with eBusiness Server 7.8.3. This allows customers to invoke eBusiness Server commands from a TSO panel. Here is an example of the ISPF panel and you may remember for those folks that have installed 7.8 and 7.83 releases you will recall we added some support for the Blowfish cipher and SHA-2 support for the RSA legacy keys. The new ISPF base option is a number of options you can choose. Option 1 allows you to perform key management functions like generating a new key the adding, removing, exporting, and also listing key details for each key in a keyring and the signing of existing keys in a keyring. Option 4 allows you to encrypt a file using a public key. This could be handy when you want to run a test to check a customer's public key. And option 5 can be used to map a PGP file. This is a new tool to help customers and also our STS support team to determine issues with files generated by the eBusiness product. And this also includes keyring files. 
the tool will dump the information out for the PGP tags available in the file being expected. The tags dumped are described in RFC 4880 and this deals specifically with the open PGP message format. Just a quick note about our new bat batch mapping utility uh, before I hand it to Tom. The EBS map is a utility that can pass and display information about PGP keys and encrypted files. It can provide information such as key type, <coughs> excuse me, key length, signature information, expiration date, preferred cipher, preferred hash, and so on. It also maps the non-encrypted content of message headers. It does not reveal any secure uh, encrypted data. eBusiness Server provides mapping pro programs for ZOS, Unix, Linux, and also Windows. On ZOS, it is available for USS, batch jobs, and the ISPF panel I just showed you. So thank you for your time, thank you for joining us, and I'm going to hand it to Tom to talk about the FIPS project. Tom, over to you. Hello, my name is Tom Wheaton, and I am the Software Development Manager at SDS. Welcome everyone, and thanks for joining us today. We would like to share some information on our current FIPS 140-2 compliance effort, and I am here today to do that. This process is quite extensive, but I want to give you a very brief overview of what we are talking about when we bring up the FIPS 140-2 process. I will quickly cover each of these areas. What is NIST? What is FIPS? And what are we doing with EBS to obtain FIPS certification? What is NIST? NIST stands for National Institute of Standards and Technology. Founded in 1901, it is an agency within the U.S. Department of Commerce. Within that agency, there is the Computer Security Division. They cover cryptography standards and FIPS validation for commercial products. What is FIPS? FIPS stands for the Federal Information Processing Standard. FIPS is defined on the NIST website as Standards and guidelines that are developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology for Federal Computer Systems. These standards and guidelines are issued by NIST as the Federal Information Processing Standards for use government-wide. NIST develops FIPS when there are compelling federal government requirements, such as for security and interoperability, and there are no acceptable industry standards or solutions. EBS validation. FIPS Publication 140-2 was signed on May 25, 2001 and became effective November 15, 2001 when the derived test requirements for FIPS Publication 140-2, the security requirements for cryptographic modules, was published. FIPS cryptographic module validation testing is performed using the derived test requirements. This is quite an extensive and exacting process. NIST maintains the list of all validated FIPS cryptographic modules. So what are we doing at SDS with eBusiness Server? The first step towards achieving certification was to fully identify all cryptographic algorithms and their operational parameters. Once identified, the goal was to isolate those algorithms that are FIPS approved from those that are not. EBS supports many cryptographic algorithms, but not all of them are FIPS approved. For instance, Triple DES, RSA, and AES are FIPS approved. That process is nearing completion, and once ready, we will engage a FIPS certification lab to verify our module meets the FIPS standard. We are starting the certification process in March. It will take six to nine months to complete. We expect the FIPS 140-2 process for eBusiness Server to be complete and a GA version available the first half of 2018. 
I hope that gives you some insight into FIPS and its role in NIST and the Open PGP standard. SDS is committed to keeping EBS viable and secure your data at rest and in motion. I will now hand the presentation over to Yvonne for Q&A. Thank you very much.